This is not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only, and everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, on that YouTube algorithm stuff, so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. Listen, whenever you have any type of real, real estate, auto, any type of transaction where you're selling something, there has to be a buyer. If there's no buyer, who is the seller going to sell to? If they do this reverse split and AMC that, that, that was at $5 now selling for $50, who is going to buy it at $50? You think the hedges are going to buy it at, at $50? I don't think so. They're going to sit on the sidelines. They're going to sit on the sidelines and let AMC, Adam Aaron, flood the market with, with, with these millions of, of new shares. And they're not going to pick them up. They're going to watch the price just drop. Whenever a company starts to sell off their shares, what usually happens to the price, especially after a reverse split? The, they say they're going to raise money. But in order for you to raise money, somebody's got to buy. And the hedges are not going to buy. They are not going to buy. They're just going to sit on the sidelines and watch the price plummet. Bottom line. They got a 90% discount. They, they, they sold the shares at 50. Now they can they now they buy them back at five. And and and, and all they have to do is just sit and let it just implode on itself that's all they have to do that's all they have to do they don't have to do anything but sit on the sidelines and watch amc stock go back down to five dollars and and then again they would help it they would help it they would double down on a dog pool they would double down on the fair to deliver they would double down on the naked shorter that's what they would do so i don't see how this benefits retail investors at all, but you have to make your own decision. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. You have to do what's best for your portfolio. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.